Yesterday we tasted it, it was still a little bit sweet, not quite sour enough. This morning we tasted it and it was just perfect. And then we squish them so the juice comes out and then we'll leave it in there for 24 hours before bottling it. Yeah, I'll let it sit pretty much overnight. That way you get a nice infusion. Um, you could also put them directly in the bottles, but I prefer not to have that. They get in the, kind of in the way. The second one we're gonna make is grapefruit. So, ooh, yeah. No shame. So you get the grapefruit juice, but what's also really interesting is the grapefruit zest. The grapefruit zest really gives it a great flavor. Are you telling me I should put zest in there? Yeah, here, let's cut it up and just throw it in there. It's better to put organic, there's a lot of pesticides on. Yeah. You can also wash the outside of your fruit. If you're opening up a bottle and it's really, really fizzy, like it's coming out, then you are probably get, you probably have about 0.5% alcohol that was produced while it was in the bottle. This is good. Yeah, which one is that? I don't know, it's good. And then you can pour it out, you can drink it. Oh, this one has beets in it. Oh, look at that color. It's good. It yeah. looks like shampoo. It does look like... It tastes like shampoo. Yeah, and soap. No, it's nice, it's really nice. So the reason we put it in bottles, right, the reason the bubbles stay is because when we have it fermenting here, there is, there's a little bit of alcohol, there's CO2 being created, but the CO2 becomes bubbles, right? And it, and it goes out in the air, whereas here, it can't go out in the air because the bottle's closed. And so the CO2, instead of becoming gas and going out, it becomes carbonic acid, which stays in the bottle, which makes bubbles when you open it. So the carbonic acid becomes carbon and gas when you open it. Exactly. Got it. You guys got it? Right. Oh, and when it's fizzy enough, you stick it in the fridge.